the risk to Canadian remain, Canadians remains low, our systems continue to work extremely closely together and collaborate, which allows us to quickly identify people who have the virus and treat them appropriately. We'll continue to monitor the situation and add resources as necessary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, member for Edmonton Riverbend. Mr. S Mr. Speaker, the National Emergency Antiviral Stockpile was created to ensure that antivirals can be accessed quickly in response to an influenza pandemic. Canadians need to be sure that the government is maintaining enough antiviral drugs to treat people and keep more people from getting sick. Can the Health Minister confirm that there's enough antiviral drugs in the National Emergency Stockpile to address a, prop a possible broader outbreak? National Health Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for his excellent question. In fact, there isn't a particular antiviral developed for this coronavirus as it is relatively new. But I can tell you that Canada's research community is working closely with our international partners. The fact that we have a copy of the live virus allows us to continue that research, and our labs are well prepared to be part of the international solution to finding immunization. Thank you. And China has quarantined whole cities and millions of people. The WHO has now listed the global threat as high. The safety of Canadians is currently dependent upon screening in China and the infected passengers self-reporting. Mr. Speaker, when will the government institute a real plan that includes enhanced screening process? The Honourable Minister of Health. Has been well ahead of the World Health Organization's uh, strategies in terms of screenings at ports of entry. We have uh, multiple measures to alert travelers from the affected regions about what to do if they suspect that they have the illness. illness. We have trained our CBSA officers to ensure that they have the tools they need to support people who may be ill. And we have worked with uh, partner airlines to ensure that there's information on flights. We will continue to monitor the situation and add additional measures as necessary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.